Today we're going to be doing an acrylic swipe to create a background for a seashell stencil that we'll apply later. To create the cells that you'll see forming during the swipe, I'm adding one drop of silicon oil to each of the base paint colors. The reason I'm using two canvases today is because I want to experiment to see whether how much you stir the paint once you add the silicon oil affects the cell size once you do the swipe. On this side, I'm just doing three stirs. And on this side, I'm stirring multiple times. I've watched various videos which suggest that stirring the silicone in a lot creates small cells and that stirring only a little bit creates larger cells. So we'll see how that turns out for me today. tip if you see you've got a droopy canvas like these ones a quick and easy way to fix that is to lightly spritz the back of the canvas with some water you don't have to wait long and look at that no space between the canvas and the level each of the base paint colors is mixed in my typical swipe ratio of four parts paint to eight parts flow troll to one part water, plus that one drop of silicon oil that you saw me add earlier. All the paint colors, ratios, and supplies will also be listed in the description box so you can find all the details there too. For the swipe, I'm using phthalo blue paint that's mixed four parts paint to eight parts Floetrol to three parts water. This paint is a thinner consistency than the paint already on the canvas and it doesn't contain any silicon oil. Looking at the wet result, I'm not convinced that how much I stirred the paint made much of a difference in the cell size. Maybe the cells on the right side are slightly larger, but I wouldn't say there is a significant difference in size.
With the painting fully dry, I've attached the stencil and I'm using a black Posca pen to outline the shell. And then using ivory black paint to paint this outside section black too. Off camera, I added another layer of black paint for even better coverage. And here we go with a quick close up. I do wonder whether I should have maybe done the black section white instead, but I think it turned out alright anyway. Thanks as always for joining me and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next time.